Hi, this is Tim with Daisy Prive. I'd like to go over a tutorial how to use our new control panel, Server Manager. As you can see that I have the application launched. It is running on my desktop. I click on the host name. This is our server IP without port. Go ahead and enter that there. We're going to enter then our username, then our password. We'll go ahead and click the login button. We are now on the dashboard side of the control panel and there's a few key features that I would like to point out. First is we have our instance number. This controls what in particular server that we are configuring. If we have multiple servers, there will be more numbers here corresponding to each of those servers. The next thing that we have is our server status offline, our BEC status offline, our active mod for this in particular instance is epidemic. We're then able to go to the control side of the control panel. We're now in the control section of our control panel and we have some of the same information. We have server status offline as well as our BEC status offline. We now have a start and a stop button for our server, a start and a stop button for our BEC. We can then go to the config panel. We're now in the config section of our control panel the first thing that we can notice is we have three main tabs. We have main settings, security settings, and time settings. On our main settings, the first thing that we have is active mod. This is the mod that's currently running on this instance. We can switch, let's say for example, to DayZ. It'll reload the panel. And we're now configuring our settings for the DayZ server. We have our server name, our current difficulty, and our message of the day. It's important to note that these three different in particular lines are all different lines in the message of the day. For example, if we were to erase hello world and save, we now only have two lines in our message of the day. Under our security settings, we have our server password. This is what users use to join your actual server while it's running, the Archon password, the max ping, and whether or not we want battle eye enabled. This is a drop down box for true or false. Under the time settings, we have the time, the time type, which is local, static, or custom. The UTC offset, which you can set between negative 12 and 12. And the static time, which you can enter to be whatever you like. We're then able to go to the manage tab. We finally come to the manage side of our control panel where we have several different options to do individual things for our servers. For example, we can spawn vehicles, we can delete vehicles, we can repair and refuel all vehicles, we can heal all players, feed all players, delete all dead players, we can restore our server to default, restore a database to default, or restore both of them at the same time. Thank you for watching the tutorial on Daisy Server Manager for Daisy Prive. We hope that you enjoy it and have a wonderful day.